I've been hearing this, uh, this sentiment, I guess, about how chaotic our government is and how much disorder there seems to be and Trump's firing this one and that one and <coughs> this is going on and that's going on. And one of the things I want to point out, which uh, you can speak to very well, you know, you wrote a book called The Chaos Candidate. Right. And The Chaos Candidate has now become The Chaos President. And because of that, I want, I want to encourage people, it is impossible to bring about the kind of change that was necessary in our government and in this nation without creating chaos. It's just not going to happen. We should not be disturbed by this chaos. We should be hopeful. It should bring us hope that there's changes coming and things happening in our government with what Trump's doing, yes, but I believe that God's more interested in what happens to this nation than Donald Trump is. And so what, a lot of this sentiment I'm hearing is just, it, it, it just sets people aback or disturbs them that this kind of chaos is going on. What, what do you think about that? And it's not chaos. And, and, and here's, 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 the, here's the challenge of this. We had George Bush, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, and the challenge of North Korea during all three of their administrations. So we've had 15 to 20 years of a nuclearized North Korea and Donald Trump comes along and he shakes things up. But what does he do? He begins to engage in Twitter diplomacy and everybody's having a, a, having a migraines over this amateur, the amateur that beat 16 skilled politicians and the Clinton machine and the Obama administration. That's pretty interesting amateur. Yes. What he did was he reached around the system, got into the headspace of Kim Jong in North Korea who basically said, I could do, I can work with this guy. I think, I think this is a person that I can actually, I can work with. So what Donald Trump's done is he's taken ISIS beheading heads, surging a million immigrants from the Sahara, sub-Sahara of Africa into Europe. The chaos that was created by Obama's inability to do something is compensated for by the rapid decision-making of a general in the field. You know, Patton won his victories because he was on the offense constantly. It may have looked like chaos if you were a German, but from the American side, it was movement, 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 taking ground. That's exactly the kind of CEO Trump is.